guys it is marathon week it is currently monday the 17th of april and this coming sunday the 23rd i'm going to be running the london marathon which if i'm being completely honest i have i can't quite work out how i'm feeling i can't work out if i'm more nervous or excited i think i'm more excited slash it just doesn't really feel real like i've been training for so long but anyway, very, very exciting time. And I've been thinking for the longest time to start up my YouTube and start longer form content. And I just thought, what better week to start than marathon week? Because I've got a lot to tell you. So plan for marathon week. It's currently Monday. I've been to the gym this morning. And for the last month, strength training has just been taking such a back seat. Like this morning, I literally went in. I did pull day, so back and biceps. Um, and I did four exercises. I was in and out in 40 minutes went for my old podcast walk, got myself coffee, came home because strength training is just not P1 right now. Like P1 has been running and building my like business. That's what's been my priorities right now. When the marathon is done, I will be getting on to some strength training again. But for now, a half an hour gym, se gym session this morning was plenty for me. Came back, had some breakfast, and then I've just been working all morning, doing some of my running qualification, doing my client check-ins and creating some content, which is just exciting times. And then I'm gonna go for a coffee podcast walk in a minute because it is now lunchtime and the sun has come out. So best believe I'm gonna be getting out there. it is tuesday i have just got back from a 7k run i did 5k easy 2k quick and it felt so good and i've just made myself some i've got two bagel thins and some bacon and ketchup not very health queen of me but it's just what i was really fancying i'm really in the mood for savory so run felt good this morning hips feeling good thank god every time i'm starting running now i'm like do not Inja. I think I'm going to swap my 5k tomorrow for 3k just in terms of saving my legs because I am still feeling a little bit like tired after a week off and I really want to make sure I'm feeling rested for Sunday but yeah fueling up I mean two bagel thins it looks like carb loading but to me that's just a normal portion <laughs> Okay, so I've done all of my check-ins and then I got very carried away making some TikToks and some reels because I feel like when I get in the flow of like making content I have to like seize it and make it because sometimes I feel so uninspired and it feels like a chore. So this morning when I was like had all of these ideas and had all of these like caption brainwaves I was like right get it all down. So I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. It's now midday. I'm going to walk to Pret, get myself a coffee. I need to go to the Impost Locker as well because I'm selling my entire life on Vinted right now. And then I'm going to come back, have some lunch and crack on with some work again this afternoon. All fun stuff. Okay, it's lunchtime, so I feel like I can already sense that I'm gonna get some hate <laughs> for all of my meals on this vlog, but I'm just big on eating what I fancy, and for a lunch, I love a sandwich and crisps. I feel like it's just classic, and I feel like in the whole fitness world, people don't just have sandwiches and crisps unless they're having like a meal deal. But I love making sandwiches and crisps, and I'm very aware that I had two bagel thins and bacon for breakfast. Um, but I have got two more bagel thins <laughs> for lunch. I just walked to prep and got myself a nice black coffee. And it was lovely to get out and get some fresh air. Post my parcel. Um, but I was in there and my favourite prep baguette is the chicken Caesar and bacon. It used to be the tuna, but this year the chicken Caesar baguette has definitely overtaken it. And I crave it so much. When I was working in my office job at the beginning of the year... That would be my saving grace. I'd go into the office and I'd go and get my chicken Caesar baguette and it would just be like, I don't know, it just got me through. I just love that baguette so much. And I was in there and we got our food shop last night. So I was like, Rihanna, you do not need to buy a prep baguette right now. They're like six pounds as well. Like it is a bit excessive when we had food at home. So I have just cooked up some little bits of bacon. I chopped up some bacon really small, fried that off, waited for it to cool down, got myself some, we had some ready cooked chicken breast put it with some mayo so made some chicken mayo added the bacon we didn't have any parmesan or caesar dressing <laughs> so it's not really the chicken caesar baguette but i added in mayo loads of salt loads of pepper chili flakes added in some balsamic on top because i don't know i was just fancying it and then i've got rocket and i think it's not the chicken caesar baguette but i'm hoping it's just gonna you know fill that hole so Mm, see delicious i haven't got crisps today but that's just because i feel like having four bagels is enough carb not carb enough like savory snacky for me 
I'm such a sweet girl. So I was thinking, I also didn't have any fruit or veg with my breakfast this morning and I didn't have a mid-morning snack, which I normally get some fruit and veg in. So I've got rocket in here and then I'm thinking it's my afternoon snack slash my lunch pudding. I'm going to make a big yogurt bowl with like raspberries, strawberries, maybe some banana, some granola. So that's why I didn't have crisps. <laughs> just so I could, you know, not I could have them anyway, but um, just so I was going to have a yogurt bowl instead and make a big yogurt bowl and have like a third meal in the afternoon. And then for dinner tonight, we've got enchiladas, which is one of my all time favourites and more double carb. I literally don't care. I'm carb loading ish. Not officially, but love me some carbs. Also important to note, um, my goal right now is not fat loss. So I'm sure I will vlog in due time because I'm going to stay consistent, I promise. I'm sure I will vlog when I am going for fat loss. But right now, marathon is P1. I'm just eating what I want to eat. Very intuitive vibes. Very not that fussed about my weight right now slash just trying to like maintain you know listen to my bod but i'm gonna watch a little episode now which i know is not the best thing to do while you're eating your lunch but i've been for my walk I'm gonna watch my episode um currently watching designated survivor which i feel like again i'm probably gonna get hate for i feel like it's a very like maybe a teen show but i love a bit of like a political drama with a bit of a love story mixed in <laughs> and it's nice mindlessness for me because i'm very switched on a lot of the time with like work so it's time for an afternoon snack and i've gone for a bowl of rice krispies and a cup of tea i feel like i'm not being very nutritious at the moment but it's just what i'm fancying and i feel like i'm very nervous about the marathon so i'm trying not to like put any added like not stress but like thought into it like i know this is like fine it's good it agrees with me and I'm not overthinking food because I'm putting all of my nervous energy into the marathon. And I'm sorry, Rice Krispies are just so good. They actually never fail. Okay, it's 5.30. I have logged off. I've sold something else on Vinted, so it's a great excuse for me to go, go for another walk because I love going for a walk, but my overhead headphones are dead. Which is making me really sad because they literally do not leave my head ever. <laughs> fun tuesday night activity for you i used to be such like a lash extension acrylics get everything done in like the salon kind of girl but i don't know why i started doing it probably to save some money but now we just do it anyway and i get my sister to do all of my like beauty treatments at home so that's what we're gonna do this evening we've got we do an at home lvl lash lift and tint and then it also comes with a brow lamination kit i got both of these off of amazon they're quite cheap but they're quite fun and i just brought my stuff for a um Oh, right. So yeah, because I actually haven't done it in ages and it makes you feel so much nicer. Hey you guys, good morning. It's Wednesday and right, I'm going to preface this with no matter where you are on your running journey, you do you. No distance is bad. Just get out and run. But when you're used to running like 10Ks on the regular, like I've run... I've run so far, I do not remember the last time I ran less than 5k, ever. And on the agenda today, right now, is a three kilometre run. And I just feel really funny about it, I'm like, like, and I mean this in a way that doesn't sound patronising or annoying at all, but like, I'm just going to go around the block, I'm just going to do one lap, and then I'm done. And I'm also finding every urge in me to want to go to the gym and like get a sweat on and like train legs and just feel something because I'm already feeling it like it's Wednesday and I'm missing the sweat because all I've done is pull day 7k and now I'm going to do a 3k and I miss like sweating but I think what I'm going to do because it looks like a really nice day outside is do my 3k, enjoy it, just go slow and like have a nice time and then walk, get my steps in and then maybe go to Gail's and get myself a coffee and a pastry because no oh, I don't know though because I thought that, that, that feels excessive and I know I'm going out tomorrow as well no I won't I'm gonna save that for Saturday because I only want to do that because it's been such a ritual the whole of marathon training to go for a run and then get a pastry after like that was always our reward 
So I just kind of want to do it one more time before the marathon, but I think I'm going to do it on Saturday because of the Pure Sport Run Club. I actually had a couple of girls off of TikTok message me yesterday and were like, oh, you're going to Pure Sport, would love to come and like go with you. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, there's going to be so many people who I think have like somehow seen my videos on TikTok who are going to be at this Pure Sport Run Club. So I think I might say like, let's all go get food after that. And that'd be like my last marathon running, running food because that'll be cute. And then today I'll be good. Because I also think I want to make a TikTok. It sounds so funny saying it out loud. I want to make a TikTok for my, like, run today. And just make a little voiceover about it because I've got some stuff to say. <laughs> Always got stuff to say, but I'm going to get ready now. It looks nice. So I think I might bring some shorts, especially if it's only 3K. Like, it doesn't really matter if they're that comfortable. But yeah, let's go. Okay, update. The run went really, really well. It felt so strange to literally run. 3k it was like 17 minutes and I was like trying to go like semi not slow but good pace to save my legs and now I had a quick shower because I was decided I was too hungry to go straight for a walk I had a shower I've curled my hair obviously got myself ready gonna film that video I wanted to film and then I'm gonna make myself some oats because I'm really in the mood for my chocolate raspberry oats my favorite ever and then um I'm gonna go and take myself to prep for the morning and sit and work in there because I feel like I've worked in here all week so far. Also, how cool is th this bit of hair is not cooperating? How cool is this top? Let me show you the back. I am a little bit obsessed. I'm having a bit of a style crisis right now. I feel like I've turned um, 25 and I'm having like a proper quarter life crisis, but only with my style so far. Slash, I am uprooting my life, but and doing some rogue stuff right now, but. Mainly with my style. <laughs> I don't know what to wear. I feel like such a Zara clone a lot of the time. So I'm trying to like just buy like one off bits that I really, really like and like go on like Vinted and charity shops and see what bits actually like speak to me, you know? I don't know. Style is hard, but I'm trying to figure it out. I think I'm going to wear these hoops. I kind of like the Chavtastic vibe a little bit sometimes. Okay, cool. Hair looks cute. Gonna go make my oats now. Literally every single time I make these oats, I am like re amazed at how delicious they are. It's so good. Put some Cadbury's chocolate on that. Absolutely delicious. I've also got myself my shreddy daily dose and a black coffee. Coffee number one. Um, gonna chill, like I said, and then I'm gonna go to prep. But I was filming a video, which is why it's taken this long. But I feel like it's a cool video of my like little morning routine, so. Mm -mm -mm. Breakfast is eaten, content is edited and uploaded. A client messages have been replied to this morning. Got my little outfit on, very comfy casual. And I'm off to prep. <laughs> my camera battery has died and I cannot for the life of me find the charger. So I'm gonna look for it this afternoon, but I had some stuff to say and I've just got home. So I thought I would just swap to my phone. So apologies for the change in quality, but I'm home. I'm absolutely ravenous. I'm going to go make some lunch. I think I'm going to make um, pizza toast, which is fun. Um, but I got a delivery from Free Soul, which I'm very excited about. We love the Free Soul greens. I'm going to make some content on that soon. I've also got the Bershka Skims Dupe black dress. Now, I'm not normally a girl who wears black, and I'm also very much not a girl who usually buy stuff full price but recently I've been trying to invest in like some good staples because I love to buy stuff second hand but I feel like stuff like this if it really fits well is worth buying new and like getting your wear out of it you know so we've got that as well and then also what came in the post today right so I'm running the London Marathon for Young Lives Versus Cancer and they have just been the nicest charity like they gave me loads of stuff when I hosted a charity ball to like raise money and I've just got a handwritten postcard and they're just really really they're just a lovely charity like to to have been like not working with but to be running for like they've been so supportive and amazing and they've sent me loads of stuff for race day and i just thought that was so cute and i've also got the biggest box of stuff from decathlon which is fun so i'm gonna have a sort through that later but for now i've had a very productive morning had a lovely coffee with my friend and now I need to eat because I realised carb loading officially starts today. So off I go to have about four bagels. BRB. 
really pleased to tell you that I did find my <laughs> camera charger and we are back. I'm just logging off of work because it's quarter to six. I've got up two, I've got a TikTok on Rihanna Crisp, I've got a TikTok on The Re-Club and I've got a post on The Re-Club as well. So content is a success. All of my check-ins are done. Two new articles for the membership are written. I've had a couple of new inquiry calls, which has been very exciting. And I'm feeling a little bit frazzled, to be honest. I feel like I've been looking at a screen for far too long. So it's still really lovely and sunny outside. So I'm gonna go and get myself a Diet Coke and go for a little post-work walk and then come back and make dinner. But I think this evening I'm gonna chill because like I said, I've got a super busy day tomorrow. Super busy day. So today wasn't as busy as I thought it was gonna be because one of my meetings has now moved to tomorrow, which means it's even bigger. Um, but I've had a good day. I had a very productive day. My room is currently a mess. I've got like parcels and stuff all on my bed, which I'm going to sort out now before I go for my walk. So then I can come back for my walk, make dinner, and it be the nice relaxing evening. This can be my last thing of work. Maybe I'll open my free sale parcel now, because then that can be a fun, fun thing for me to do. I'm very excited about this. I've used the free sale greens before. If you haven't already used them they are great they are so so good for like bloating for like hormone management and i also just think doing stuff like drinking my shreddy daily dose and like my free cell greens every morning more than anything is just so good as like a daily ritual to like show up for yourself do you know what i mean like more than like i am a big well i'm gonna ramble i'm a big nutrition first kind of person when it comes to supplements like especially with my clients at the recap like i'll always recommend some things like i do recommend they all take creatine or if they like are interested in supplementation like creatine is one that i will 100 percent back because it's got so much research done on it like it's so widely researched and like scientifically backed so that's a great one but stuff like daily dose and like your daily vitamins and greens like then completely non-essential they are completely non-essential but i like to take them as a daily ritual for myself because i like to do the whole aesthetic showing up for yourself like daily habits i feel like it's just a nice way to show up for myself not that i 100 percent need them and you 100 percent can get all of these things from food that is my coach hat now off but let's see what we've got I'm very excited we love a bit of paper packaging save the planet so i've got a new pretty shaker I like this new free cell shaker and I've got the greens new restock lovely and then I've also got the protein blend which delicious it's also got iron in it which as an anemic gal I do need um I was just checking because I didn't check that it wasn't didn't have soy in it and I'm allergic to soy but it hasn't got soy in it so we're all okay and I got the chocolate protein yum excited to try that might make a video with the greens this, this weekend as like a little like i was just saying how it can be fun to just have a nice pretty pink drink or a nice pretty green drink as like a daily ritual but i do have a link for free soul i have a link for shreddy as well i'll leave them all in my description if you want to support me slash buy your little daily ritual drink okay that's fine i'll take these downstairs and put them in my cupboard but we love free soul Please use my link. <laughs> Love you loads. <laughs> I'm gonna go for my walk now. Look at the blue sky. Stunning scenes from London today. Absolutely stunning. Gonna have to put some trousers on though because I have been spending my whole afternoon just walking around in my necks, which when you work from home you can do, but I can't go for a walk like this. So gonna put some trousers on. I probably won't check back in today. What am I having for dinner? I'm having Oh, also, I had that entire packet of chocolate fingers. I'm going to call it carb loading. It wasn't a binge. It was just that they were absolutely delicious. And also, they've definitely made those packages so much smaller. Like, that was that was definitely a one-person portion. That was just like having a couple of biscuits with a cup of tea. For dinner, I digress again. For dinner, I'm going to be having turkey meatballs and a double portion of pasta. Slash, maybe I'll make some, like, garlic bread for the carbs. And then it's me, so I'm going to have some chocolate afterwards. And then I'll probably have peppermint tea like I do every evening and go to bed. Actually, no, I'll do this another day. Another day I will talk through my nighttime routine because I feel like I need to spread this out. 
over the coming days because otherwise I'm just gonna like ramble forever and I want to go for my walk while it's still sunny so probably speak to you tomorrow <laughs> sleep that well I kept waking up I'm wondering if like the subconscious nerves are kicking in because I don't feel that nervous like it still doesn't feel real to me I'm still feeling a bit strange about the fact that the marathon is literally on Sunday like it doesn't feel real so maybe it's like the subconscious nerves creeping in because I am very surprised because normally I'm a very nervous slash anxious person but I was just going on the fact that I've trained so hard so I'm trusting the process but <laughs> maybe not but I'm up I almost like snoozed my alarm and wasn't going to go to the gym because realistically like it's the week before the marathon I don't need to be going to the gym but I thought get up go even if you do 20 minutes because my meetings now been my first meeting's been moved to 10 and I've got to be uptown and ready so it just made it a bit tight you know but I was like just go even if I do like half an hour which I've been doing for all of my gym sessions recently it's absolutely fine so I'm up got myself my gym outfit on and I'm making coffee and I thought I would talk you through my morning coffee ritual if i need to start this because i need to go but i swear by like exclusively use at home anyway grind coffee like my absolute fave i prefer over an espresso like just the best ever i have like four boxes of the pods underneath my stairs i've got two boxes in this cupboard and then i have black coffee if i make it at home the only time i'll ever have not have black coffee is if i'm out and it'll either be an oat flat white or an iced latte, an iced oat latte. They are my three coffee orders. Black Americano. Black Americano also sometimes when I'm out, if it's like, I'm genuinely having it for the caffeine and not for the enjoyment. Like I'll have a flat white or an iced latte for like fun or if I'm going on a coffee date. Do you know what I mean? Those kind of vibes. But at home, and to be honest, no, at home, every single morning, I put in my, my protein vanilla drops. These are the vegan ones, but I don't exclusively, ah use the vegan ones like I use the normal ones it was just that the normal ones were out of stock when I last ordered and then literally has changed my life pure sport CBD like before pure sport I'd never used CBD before put a couple of drops of this in my coffee and then also in my last afternoon coffee because I have three a day I have one when I get up one in the morning and then one in the afternoon which I don't think is excessive um, and I have my CBD in the morning one and then in the afternoon one and it has just changed my life and also how cute is this grind coffee cup that I was given, sent it's so my vibe, I am just obsessed with it but that's my coffee, sometimes I take my if I know I'm going to a coffee shop to do some work for the re like if I'm going to do like a work date with myself I will bring the vanilla drops with me because then I'll get black coffee because I do actually like black coffee, like I'm quite a coffee snob, I'm actually barista trained, which is fun. Um, and I used to, I spent like years working in coffee shops and became very much a coffee snob, so I do like black coffee, I'm not like... <gasps> anyway, cleared that up. Like I was saying, I am a real coffee drinker. I do know how to like make coffee, I was very much a coffee snob, I do enjoy black coffee. But these little drops just changed my life and they're no calories. And I have such like a sweet tooth, I know some people say that sweet tooth doesn't exist. I just love a sweet thing so it just satisfies it and normally I am the biggest biggest raver believer of eat before you have your coffee that is literally like something I preach to my clients all the time so I hope if you're watching this don't hate me but I'm gonna have coffee on an empty stomach today which I know is bad and I know I shouldn't do it. it's probably gonna make my cortisol levels really bad but I didn't sleep that well like I said and I'm so hungry from, I'm not so hungry, I'm so full from yesterday. For dinner I had a double portion of pasta and turkey meatballs and like pasta sauce. And then I had, you know how you get those like pre-baked baguettes from like Sainsbury's? I had a whole one of them. And then I made myself my protein cookie dough for pudding. So like, and I was like forcing it down because I knew I had to like, I need to start getting the carbs in and the calories in and stuff. But I'm genuinely just feeling so full. I'm going to have breakfast. I'm just not going to have... Normally I have a brunch bar or a banana with my coffee just to, to like not have it on an empty stomach. But I actually can't face it. I really, really can't. And that's bad for me. So, whoops. What are we going to do? I'm going to go for a walk now down to the gym. I'm going to do some upper body. 
I was supposed to do push, but I might do like push and pull. I might just do like a little upper body circuit just to make myself feel a little bit nice because I love a back pump. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe I'll film some stuff in the gym and then I've got to come back, have some breakfast, rush, get ready, leave at like quarter to nine. It's now half six, so I have got time. I'm being very dramatic, but I'm that person who likes to be really, really early and have always have too much time. I don't like to be rushed or like late, so yeah, let's go gym. I am laughing at myself because this is so unnecessary, but I was just up there. I didn't mean any shade <laughs> to the people who don't like coffee if I said that really nastily. I love a cup of tea. I love a soft drink too. <laughs> oh, I feel like I definitely must be feeling anxious because that is not something to be thinking about and feeling bad about, but I just thought I'd come and clarify. I also was thinking this is the most, most chaotic vlog potentially ever. It's just my thought process. <laughs> Anyway, I thought I was walking down and it's such a nice day and my headphones are having a nightmare connecting while my overhead ones are charging. So I thought I'd just talk to you and tell you about my day. So, plan of action today, the meeting I've got at 10 is with a supplier for the Reclub Apparel. So, the Reclub is my little baby business where I do online coaching and we have a membership for all girls who basically love to like eat out, drink out, work out, go on walks, go on holidays, do everything and just live their best lives and it's basically like a massive knowledge base of over a hundred articles I've written that's like your go-to place to find all the answers that you'll need on your health fitness and wellness journey sound like I'm on a sales call very unenthusiastically at 6 30 a.m <laughs> um, and there's also workouts in there running coaching in there group chats in there we've got events it's very very exciting then the one one-to-one -one coaching is one-to-one -one with me as PT nutrition coach and as of next week qualified running coach very exciting times please do join again all of the links will be in my bio <laughs> but I'm making some of the reclub apparel and I'm being very particular about it as I should as I should um and I'm very being particular about the quality the fit and the fact that like it's all of the stuff's been sustainably and ethically produced so I'm just going to meet the suppliers and try on some of their like samples and stuff which I'm actually really excited about I feel like it's a really cool thing to do and it'll be like nice to get a feel for the company as well before I start using them for my production so that's that at 10 and then I've got a couple of like um inquiry calls for new starters at the re-club um at 11 11 30 and at 12 and then I'm meeting my friend from pure sport running club Ellie at I don't know, maybe one. We haven't actually agreed a time yet, but that's why I'm planning on it. One for lunch. Probably be with her till like two, half two. Then I've got um, all of my check-ins to do today. Um, just some other, the re-club stuff to do, just admin events. Um, and I've got a couple of emails to get back to. I'll read some TikTok collabs, Instagram collabs, just some like partnership stuff that I'm just doing, just admin, just life admin. Um, and then I'm meeting Tilly because we are going to the London Marathon. What's it called? The exhibition? What's it called? The thing at the Excel Centre where I have to go pick up my race pack and you get to like find your name on the wall. And I wonder if it's going to feel real then. We'll see. And then we're going to go get a Nando's after and I'm obviously going to double carb and I actually cannot wait because I feel like it's been so long since I had a Nando's. So I'm very excited for this and then I'll probably come home like relatively late for me so make sure I get a good sleep tomorrow is going to be a complete rest day so that's fun and then Saturday I've got 5k and then it's race day race day baby but I'm thinking about tomorrow making a video um about like non-running things that I do on my non-running days as a runner that help my running I would obviously find a caption that is a lot easier to say slash a lot less wordy than that although kind of has a ring to it um <laughs> gonna make that video tomorrow i think while i'm doing nothing else apart from obviously just usual work stuff but yeah i'm almost at the gym now i'm like three minutes away so i can probably entertain myself with no headphones i just feel like i've got a lot to say and i feel like it's really proving to myself that even though i'm saying i'm not nervous and i'm like feeling it that i definitely am because normally a walk with no headphones down to the gym is bliss for me but I feel like my mind is just racing. <laughs> but I just don't feel nervous, it's very strange. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go train. train. <laughs> also, daily essentials my shreddy, daily dose, and creatine. I'm just picking myself some breakfast. 
voila, very anaesthetic. I've got some bacon, loads of beans, some eggs, and two bagel thins. Yum. I just managed such a quick turnaround. When I go in from the gym, I had like 45 minutes till I really needed to leave. And I'm vlogging today for on TikTok, as well as this. Because I feel like it's a fun, exciting day and I wanted to make a video, which just makes everything take twice as long. So when I got in, I was like, right, I'm either gonna have to quickly get ready, take my time with my food, or quickly eat, take my time getting ready. Obviously I opted to take my time with my food because I am a wellness babe now and we know that taking time with this your food is, your is essential. Of course there's an announcement. There are minor delays on the northern line. I'm just gonna talk anyway. Um, so took my time with my food, have a, had a lovely breakfast, a little bit peckish so I have got a brunch bar in my bag and then I um, rushed getting ready and somehow had five minutes to spare so I went to get a nice latte, delicious. And of course my train is now delayed, that's just typical, so I didn't need to rush at all, but that's fine. We've got a little bit of a spanner in the works today so far in that some of my Loom videos from yesterday there seems to have been a technical issue where the sound hasn't come with the video, like there's just no sound at all. So I'm gonna have to have a look when I sit down on my laptop to see if I can get hold of the sound, if not, just quickly record a voice note. Because I still like, I basically do all of my check-ins on Loom. So they have all of their action points written down on their check-in sheet, I just do a Loom video as well to like talk them through my decision-making and like, educate them on anything that needs like going over and stuff like that so a bit annoying that we haven't got that but it seems to be only two of them so it's not going to take too much of my time so i'll just quickly redo them when i get on my laptop i might even try and do one on the train i've got to get two trains to this meeting for the apparel and i've spoken to my um consultant who i'm working with on this project and just given me some like top tips i need to ask and get clear on so i'm excited it's gonna be a good day spoken to you in ages it is now friday afternoon and i think the last time i spoke to you was yesterday morning on the way to my train i can't remember speaking to you after that yesterday just got so hectic it ended up being like i actually think it's bold to say but i'm gonna say it anyway one of my favorite days ever like of my life like i felt so proud and so excited and so happy the whole day it was just huge but I'm now, it's four o'clock on Friday and I'm getting myself ready for a bath. <laughs> so I'm waiting for the water to heat up. Well, we've got solar panels, but, um, and I just thought I'd talk to you and catch you up. I'm just putting in some Olaplex into my hair. Very aware the hairdressers of the world are going to tell me that this is all a gimmick and it doesn't really work. But I take quite a lot of pride in my hair now after being a bleach gal for so long. And now I've finally got it back to a really good condition that I will just try anything and I'm quite enjoying this and I think even if it is just a ritual of like putting something nice in your hair before you wash it. Anyway, I digress. I went to my first meeting yesterday, got on the train and I managed to get myself very lost on this industrial estate and I was on my own because the supplier that I was going to meet had sent me a postcode but the postcode, you know how like postcodes can be super wrong to like the actual location? And so I got myself a little bit lost took me like 20 minutes to find them which was like walking around this industrial estate with like loads of random like workmen and I was like where am I found it in the end and they were so so nice and it was so cool to like be inside a warehouse they were doing all the printing and the embroidery and stuff and it was just nice to see like where all the garments will be like made for my the reclub apparel project super super exciting um and so stayed there for like an hour and a half talking to this contacts I had and we were discussing like styles, fits, colours, threads, sustainable packaging, like just felt really surreal that like I was able to do something like that. It was just super cool. Wasn't super sold in any of the styles there, but they gave me another like another couple of suggestions and I sorted out another couple of meetings for the afternoon. So it was all super exciting. And then after that it was like getting close to lunchtime. So I jumped on a bus and got 
headed towards London Bridge, like Bermondsey Street, where I went for a coffee with my friend and then went to another coffee shop to do some work for a couple of hours, which was super good. Got all of my check-ins done, was very, very efficient. I love working in a coffee shop in London and the weather was insane like it was like beautiful blue skies and like london in the sun is one of my favorite things as well ever i'm just gonna wash my hands so i can go do a face mask I'm back so yeah got all of my check-ins done london in the sun was beautiful and i'd never somehow lived in london my whole life never been to bermondsey street and it is so pretty and there were lovely little flower markets and it was just like super sunny and nice and the vibes were just amazing so me and my friend who i went for the coffee with and then stayed and did work with um we then spontaneously went to Franco Manca for lunch which is I think so underrated like I love me a Franco Manca had that and it was so good and we were just like chatting the whole time and I was like wow look at me on a little like work date and then go for pizza for lunch and it was just super cute and we were just catching up um and I met her through I connected with this girl through TikTok and then I went and met her at Pure Sport at Pure Sport Run Club so that's just a really fun friend to have and we just like we're talking about running and stuff and just life it was great and then after that i went for a walk even closer to london bridge and then um got on a bus over to shoreditch high street i cannot for the life of me open this yay um got on a bus over to shoreditch high street where i was having another meeting with another supplier and this got me so excited so i headed over to shoreditch was walking around and you can just tell when you're in shoreditch like everyone was so cool everyone looked like they just got like fresh out of like art school which i know sounds really like probably embarrassing for me to say but that was that was the vibe i was getting like everyone was just so cool i felt very out of place um went into this shop was trying on like i grabbed i asked the shop assistant to like help me figure out which kind of styles i wanted and i was trying on loads of different like styles of sweatshirts hoodies tracksuit bottoms tees caps all the classic like athleisure stuff like finding out which fit i liked the best what colours I liked, all of that good stuff. And the quality was just so, so good. And it's all sustainably sourced, which is a massive like thing for me. Sustainably and sustainably sourced, ethically produced, all that good stuff. So it just like ticked all of the boxes and I was just getting so, so excited. So it stayed there for maybe like an hour and I was talking to the different shop assistants, seeing what they had at wholesale. All of that stuff, sending loads of photos to my consultant who is helping me out because I literally am winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's so much fun for me. <laughs> so I was doing that and then a drunk man actually approached me in that shop. It was so strange. He like fully walked in to like a proper shop in Shoreditch with a glass. Like he just walked out of the pub with his glass and cigarettes in his hand and was like, Yo, I love your outfit. And he was being so loud and leery. And it was literally me in the shop and these two like people who worked there. And he was like, will you marry me? And you know, and you're like, like, I don't want to be rude, but I don't know what to do here. But luckily the shop assistant men were lovely and I was really getting on with them and they just kind of like slowly walked him out without causing a scene. It was quite handled very well. Big fan, but that was a bit of a little random story of the day. And then after that, I stayed there for like an hour and a bit. And then I walked over to Farringdon because that's where I was meeting my friend who was coming to the London Marathon exhibition with me, but I got there a little bit early, but I just thought, get there, and then I'm like, I can like set up camp in a coffee shop and get some more work done, then at least I'm there. So I got to find in, went and sat in a Starbucks, because Pret had no plugs and my phone was on 6%. So I was like, oh, I can't use my Pret subscription, have to gonna, gonna have to buy a Starbucks to sit in there and use uh, tables and stuff. So I went to Starbucks, got a couple more hours of work done, and, this is when I started to plan this new, just like little six week plan I'm doing with the re -club. I don't want to think too far after the marathon because I obviously haven't even run it yet, but I am thinking about my plan post marathon because I've got, I'm running the Hackney Half Marathon in May and then I'm also going on holiday at the end of May and then again on holiday mid-June. And I know I want to go into like a little bit of a low-key like fat loss phase just because I've been eating so many carbs and like eating like 3,000 calories a day in the lead up to the marathon, I'm just feeling very fluffy, like I'm still feeling very confident, like I don't think I need to lose anything crazy, but I just want to go back to like being a normal human being and like not eating the crazy amount that I have been and like get back into strength training and just do all like, just that's just like my little plan. And so I put on my story on the recap, like does anyone want to train with me? Because I always get people asking me like, what is your exact workout plan, train with me? And I'm a big fan on like, I'm like very, very big on workout plans and nutrition plans need to be individualized like we're all so different don't copy but i also thought it could be quite fun for us to all get on board and like follow the same workout plan for six weeks just for like motivation vibes like get people feeling their best before summer 
and like we can do some group challenges and like just motivate each other and like do our check-ins together like I always do a check-in post every single Sunday on like a personal check-in on the Re Club page and I thought we could all just do that together and like just make it fun and like I'm not selling like a six week gonna change your life because you can't change your life in six weeks but you can make quite big changes and like strides in terms of habits so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> shameless little plug for you there so anyway in that starbucks at farringdon that's what i was planning that and i was getting some stories up and i was like finalizing some details to get that all ready to go then i met my friend and we got on the tube i finally got on the elizabeth line had never been on it before very very clean very modern as you'd expect for a brand new tube um and we went over to Custom House, got off at the Excel Centre, and it was very, like, surreal. Like, it made me feel like, oh my god, like, I'm running the London Marathon, but that's kind of gone again this morning. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing today, even. It's not even the morning. Um, and it was so cool. Gonna wash my hand, BRB. I'm back again. Um, so, went to the Excel Centre. Yep, picked up my number, which I've got, and I cannot believe... Well, I can believe, because good energies, right? I got... An angel number 444 guardian angels are looking after me which is super cool had a walk around the excel center saw all of the really cool like obviously new balance are sponsoring it so i had a little look around their stall and like just around looked around all of the cool brands and businesses that were there the like atmosphere was amazing looking at the map like it was really really cool and um, found my name on the wall took a photo with my number all that good stuff bought some morton gels which i'm gonna have one tomorrow on my shakeout run just to make sure my stomach's okay and like ready to go for race day and then i'm all prepped and then so that was really fun we were there for like maybe an hour i don't know not too long really because it was quite busy and it was like after work so it was a bit heaving and then we got the train back to Farringdon so we we're gonna go to Farringdon Nando's which I know is excessive because I then had a massive breakfast and then I had Frank and Manka for lunch and then I was gonna have Nando's for dinner but I really don't care carb loading right so then we went to Farringdon Nando's and they were like 40 minutes away and we were like for a Nando's that is just so excessive so we were like okay let's try and walk to a train station that's like we can get home easier from so we walked over to like Blackfriars City Thames Link area went to the Nando's um near in one new change because it's a lovely nando's anyway had nando's which i just absolutely love it just never fails and i was catching up with my friend and we just had really good chats and just had a lovely evening you know when you're having like a really good nice evening we just don't really know what you talked like talked about but like you were getting that out everything that you needed to say just about random stuff she's like my best friend from uni it was tilly so best friend from uni slash just life so we just had lovely chats had a lovely evening and then got the train home and then i was all buzzed from the entire day and i couldn't for the life of me sleep and i got in bed like half 10 it'd been a long day and i just couldn't sleep i was just super excited so i stayed up and edited my tiktok which i should never do but i was just really excited to look, look back at all the footage i had from the day and like i know it's not a tiktok that's going to go viral but you know like i'm really proud of that video and like i'm really proud of that day so i was just excited to edit it so did that got that up and then this morning I did get to sleep in the end. I probably got like six hours sleep, which is not enough, which is why I'm having a nice relaxing afternoon today. Um, got up this morning and then me and Jenna, my sister, went to into town and we went to Gail's and we were going to go and get a pastry, but we were in there and I was looking at this mozzarella focaccia and I was like, yeah, that's what I want for breakfast. <laughs> so I had a mozzarella and pesto focaccia for breakfast and it was absolutely delicious. 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, and then we went shopping. Teehee. Um, because apparently that's all I'm doing right now, which I'm not mad because I'm also, the other day we had this massive clear out and none of my summer clothes fit me because my body's changed a lot since last summer, like I lost quite a lot of weight and I recently tried on all of my denim shorts and they just looked silly big, like I couldn't even get away with them. So I put them all on Vinted and I've sold pretty much everything, which is actually really good. Like I made quite a lot of money off of Vinted recently. And so I wanted to get some new little summer bits. So first we went into TK Maxx and I found this Levi's skirt. This little Levi's denim skirt. How cute is that? RRP is 60 and I got it for 20. It's in like a size, it's in a waist 29. So being between a 10 and a 12, but I could wear it quite low waist. And I just thought that'd look so cute with just like a baggy tee in summer with like flip flops, or you could dress it up, like wear a crop top. I might even take it to my tailors and get it taken in so I can wear it high waisted, but really, really cute, big fan of that. And then we went into, I did get something else from TK Maxx. So, oh, I got a beauty blender, classic. So it's two ninety nine. A real technique, a real techniques one. Because also, you probably saw before I put this face mask on, my skin is suffering right now. I think it's partly because I'm eating so many carbs, and it's just like the last couple of weeks of marathon training, I've just been eating shit because I can, and I've just been eating so many calories to get them in that I haven't been eating good food, and so my skin's suffering. That was such a tangent, but also I think my beauty blender is disgusting, and I needed to get a new one, so bought a new one. There it is. It's 
jank. It's actually disgusting. Next shop we went into, H&M. So I got some denim shorts. And they're so stretchy. I went in and actually tried them on because I felt like denim shorts were quite hard to get right. But they're lovely and high-waisted and, like, not too short. Like, you know how some shorts come, like, here? And I'm a tall girl and my entire ass cheeks will be out. They're called Comfort Stretch High Waist. They were, like, a £19, which I think is an absolute bargain for some good denim shorts. I do normally like the Zara ones. I might get some Zara ones too, the ones that, like, fold up. But I also really liked the wash of these. And the last thing I got in H&M... Um, was a top because unfortunately, very, very sadly, <laughs> it's looking like it's potentially going to rain on marathon day and I was kind of holding out hope that I was going to wear my sweaty bitty shorts and a sports bra and just go like all out, like wear as little as possible because that's what I feel most comfortable in running. Like I like to be free. I like to not be wearing a lot. Um, but it's looking like it's going to be raining and for a 10k run, I'd run in a sports bra in the rain and embrace it and be big main character energy. But for four hours slash probably four and a half slash five hours, I don't want to be running in the rain and be then cold and soggy and make myself ill. So I went and bought a t-shirt from H&M because my charity t-shirt doesn't fit me right at all and I'm just not going to run in something that I feel uncomfortable in. It's just not worth it to me. I've raised amazing money for the charity. It's an incredible charity. I'm still going to be supporting them 100% on the day. I'm just not going to wear the t-shirt. I think that's okay. Um, so H&M have these like plain black cropped ones. Because I don't want to wear a vest either because they always ride up on me to like go to my waist so anyway got this I think it was less than a tenner it was cheap and it's just like a nice sports top and I've got my letters that say re on them and my number so I thought this could just be like a nice option if on the day it does end up raining and I don't want to wear my sports bra so I got that as well anyway I think that's you all caught up I'm now gonna have my bath I've got myself a glow tea which is my fave when my skin is feeling awful and it's Jenna's mug it's not my mug and then I've also got <laughs> this is so funny this is so excessive my daily dose, my shreddy daily dose. I love daily dose, I swear by it again. This is like my help, my skin is dying. I feel like shit. Glow tea, daily dose, having a bath, downing loads of water. Um, came on my period today and I was like, literally, of all the times for the marathon, mine's like super rogue at the moment because I came off the pill recently. So like, I never really know when it's coming. And I thought it probably would come before the marathon, but obviously it's gonna come two days before. So pray for me. I'm keeping optimistic. We're going to be A-OK. -okay. But plan for the evening is have my bath, have my chill. I've got a couple more things I want to do with the re-club before I log off for the weekend. Just some like loose ends to tie up, check client messages before I log off for the weekend. Um, and then we're having burger night. Love that for me. Got a carb up. Also in town today, I went to M&S and I bought myself a mini sourdough loaf and that was my lunch. <laughs> Carbs. We love to see it. Oh, and also, how cute is this card? I'm not ready. All of my clients as well today, when I've been doing their check-ins or like messaging them, have been like, how are you feeling? And I still don't know. I still don't know. So we're going to have burger night. I'm going to foam roll. I'm going to stretch. And then I'm going to get a really good night because tomorrow I'm getting up and going to Pure Sport. And I'm going with a few friends now. And I'm very excited. So you're all caught up. Good morning. It is officially Saturday morning. It is Pure Sport run day. It is last training run slash easy run of marathon training. I'm excited, I've got myself ready, I've made myself look nice just because I had time and I woke up early because I'm nervous excited and I'm just so excited for today. I've got on my just Tyler leggings and Lululemon bra because I was going to wear shorts but it's not looking that sunny and also sad times, the weather for tomorrow is currently looking like rain <laughs> which is so far from my deal but now I'm so glad I bought that top from H&M. So, plan is I'm going to walk to prep now because like I said, was ready so unbelievably early. Um, going to get myself coffee, then I'm meeting my friend Grace and we're going up to Pure Spot together and then I'm meeting Lucy there. So I'm meeting this other girl from TikTok as well there. Very, very exciting times. We are getting all of the girls together at Pure Sport and we're all going for a run and then we're going to go get coffee and pastry after. And I did heatless curls. I did video it. And they've gone so well today. It's ridiculous. I feel very glam now. But I will. Feel good. When I feel good, I always run good. So, exciting times. I'm going to trial one of my Morton gels, like I said the other day, just to make sure that they are still all okay on my stomach. And, yeah, let's go. Okay, it's go time. I'm off. I'm going to get myself a coffee now. 
I need to get myself some breakfast as well because I just couldn't stomach it this morning. I've had a brunch bar, but I haven't had like enough carbs as I need to because I was so full up from last night. It's actually so hard. I had a double portion of, that is such a first world problem. It's not hard at all. I'm very lucky. Um, I had like double portion burger and it was delicious. You know those Beyond Meat burgers? Absolutely delicious. They never ever fail. And then I had, um, a yogurt which is protein so i probably shouldn't have had that this is why i'm feeling uncomfortably full because i'm not solely focusing on carbs which is my own fault um, and then i had some magic stars <laughs> and i had the rest of my loaf of bread because when i went into town with jenna i bought myself a loaf of bread that was like my dedicated loaf of bread for the day <laughs> and i ate the rest of that so just feeling a bit stodgy but i'm gonna go into prep so i'm just gonna buy myself a nice breakfast because i'm feeling like i've got my nice makeup on <laughs> well i've got very minimal makeup on i've got like a nice little gym outfit on i'm just trying to make myself feel nice and excited for the weekend so i'll get a nice little breakfast it's all good like it's like fiver it's fine um then i'm gonna jump on the train and head over to pure sport i'm obviously off very very early because not obviously at all there's no trains to blackfriars which is where i would normally go and then walk so i'm having to go to victoria which is fine but it just means it's a bit of a longer walk but that's fine but yeah i'm just gonna go to prayer by myself a nice little breakfast and then jump on my train I've left really excessively early because my train, my normal train isn't running, so I'm having to get a different train and then walk, but that's fine. Thank God it's not raining. It's all good. Yay! Let's go. looking a little bit dishevelled my hair is looking frizzy as but the heatless curls stayed quite well considering i have been for a run but it was such good vibes we got there we went and met lucy we went and like met everybody there there were so many people there it was ridiculous compared to the club i went to last time there were so many people there obviously it was a pre-london marathon shakeout so there were a lot of people going for like the vibes and the atmosphere and like just so many people were there not doing the London Marathon as well and there were just so many people out running which is my favourite thing ever um it was so good so we dropped our bags off and then we went and got a coffee and went for a quick wee and then everyone did a warm up, warm up and then they took a massive group photo and there were so many people, I think I actually cannot stress it. Um, and then we went for our run and we were running all down by the river. There was an option of a 16k actually, so there were loads of people who would, weren't doing the London Marathon because if you've got the London Marathon tomorrow, you would not be running a 16k. But we did the 5 and we were set off with the 5.30 paces because I was like, oh, I should be doing 6 minutes but... I just was in the mood so we went and it ended up being actually quite speed it ended up being quicker than that anyway but like me and lucy were chatting the whole time didn't have my headphones in just running all down like the river past london eye past big ben just like past all of the landmarks quickly doing a quick lap turn back around ran back and then we hung around for like quite a while to be fair because there was a dj because they were like doing this massive thing and there was a pop-up shop with satisfy so there was just like loads going on and loads of people hung about as well so we got a free drink um and we're just like chatting to all of the pure sport team lovely lot and then we just met loads of other people and it's so funny me and lucy are like find it so strange people come up to me they're like oh i saw your tiktok video and i just cringe at myself which is not the vibe the mission of 2023 is to cringe at myself so much less so we're fighting that and but we met such lovely people and like we're gonna like go into like a co-working day because this girl was self-employed as well just met loads of new people and it's just my favorite thing because they're all like super like-minded and everyone wants to run and everyone is like loads so many people are like content creators as well just great vibes and then me and lucy grace went home because she had to go and do something with a car always fun and then me and lucy went to the hoxton and we had proper like great chats as always and just sat there with a flat white and a pan of chocolat and it was great and then i walked back to victoria because there were no trains from black fries and it was just annoying and i couldn't be bothered to get on the tube and it was just such a nice day I'm like tomorrow not that i'm bitter walked back and i didn't think it through but i was walking down like past the mound past st james's park and oh my goodness i think there was like the mini marathon today where like all of the kids do it oh and it was just so good everyone was cheering everyone was clapping and i was like literally walking down there like crying <laughs> which is so dramatic but it was so emotional and it got me so excited for tomorrow because i was like oh my goodness this is gonna be me i don't even care if it's raining like i'll put a cap on it's fine it's main character energy like I just cannot believe it. It just the atmosphere was already mad and it was like heaving everywhere. Got a train home and now I'm back. Now I'm gonna have a quick shower and I'm gonna have loads of toast because I mean I've eaten quite a bit today to be fair. I had like 
three different bars for breakfast and then i've had a pan of chocolate but i need to get carbs in also trialed my morton gel no problems felt great stomach's fine so excited for tomorrow and of course i bought one of the pure spot tops i'm just such a sucker for merch as you can tell but got a cute tote bag now as well and i got one of the this is mainly a memento for the london marathon because i am not wearing my charity top and i just want this is just a big deal you know so i got one of the satisfy collab tops and i just think how cool is this i can't wait to wear this just like day to day i feel like it's a really cool top um and yeah got that super exciting yeah can't wait now i'm just gonna have a shower i might do another layer of fake tan which i know is really dramatic and unnecessary because i'm literally running a marathon but if you feel good you run good <laughs> so i might do another layer of fake tan gonna rub loads of my muscle while i'm in also my hip felt great when i was running today like literally didn't feel it at all didn't even think about it like i was so distracted i literally didn't think about it and it felt great so very exciting times going to jump in the shower do my fake tan what is that notification and then eat toast and chill edit my tiktok from this morning and then get off of all the social media this evening so i can make sure i have a good sleep but great morning i was just getting ready to get in the shower and i realized i had a parcel this morning and i thought i'd show you what i got because i did a little vintage order because i'm like i said before like i'm struggling with all my summer clothes at the moment and i got these two things from vintage and i feel like they're very european summer and cute vibes they're both originally from zara and i paid like i think it was six pounds for each of them so i got this cute little knitted crop top how cute is that imagine this with an apron on my hand <laughs> love that that is so cute obsessed and then i also got these little sage green these are tiny sage green linen shorts just thought i don't know if they could go together i feel like they could potentially go together so cute but just like with a little white top lovely casual comfy vibes super cute gonna shower now we have made it to marathon eve i'm feeling very nervous now i'm feeling like a bit weird but i had my shower after pure spot and i did another layer of fake tan feeling very bronzed and then i was literally horizontal for the entire afternoon i edited my tiktoks and i replied to people because my whatsapp was getting a bit chaotic but i could, didn't have the brain capacity to reply so i replied to all of them and then yeah literally did nothing all afternoon had a big bowl of pasta two slices of toast and i just had a massive bowl of rice krispies <laughs> and i had a shower washed all my fake tan off and now i'm gonna spend the next it's like half eight now i'm gonna spend the next like 20 minutes pure sport balming and gua sharing and just making sure there's no knots no niggles just feeling all good and then i'm gonna take some of my pure sport unwind capsules and try and go to sleep like half nine and just get a really good sleep so i'm gonna put on a shitty rom-com from amazon prime do my gua sha and go to bed it's all gonna be okay i've drunk so much water as well because i don't want to drink too much in the morning because i am that person who always needs a nervous wee and i just don't want to be desperate for a wee tomorrow but we're okay i'm just feeling very nervous like it's all feeling a bit weird and i want to make sure i get a good sleep so i'm just gonna put the camera away phones on do not disturb on charge gonna leave that watch this film go to bed i'll speak to you on marathon day We've made it to marathon day. It's currently 6.30 a.m. I actually had a semi-okay sleep, much better than I was expecting, to be honest. I managed, I tried to go to sleep at like nine. I was asleep by 10, I'm sure of it. And then I woke up on the hour, every hour from one, but like only for a little while. And it's mainly because I was getting hot and I think it's because I was stressing. But it's fine. I've got some sleep. I'm feeling pretty well rested for me because I haven't been having that good sleep for a couple of months now, so it's okay. I'm feeling all right. Um, got up at six and I've made myself the biggest bowl of oats. I've got 100 grams of oats, 30 grams of protein, chocolate protein powder, 100 grams of frozen raspberries and a twirl on top. Cute, yum. Black coffee, daily dose. This is my tripod for today. The biscuit tin. <laughs> so I'm gonna munch this down, hoping to get it in me by seven so that then I've got like three hours for this to digest because this is a lot of oats. And then I'm gonna have another snack, easy carbs, like an hour before, maybe when I leave. But gonna get this down me, gonna have a quick scroll on TikTok, gonna have some mindless time. And then I'm going to get ready. But it's currently not raining. It's going to start up raining soon, but yum. I am right now feeling much more excited than I am nervous. I'm so sure that's gonna change, but for right now, I'm gonna enjoy the excitement. 
because I've worked so hard for this day. Like right now, it feels absolutely insane, but yeah, let's get these oats in me. I feel like it's gonna be a challenge. It feels like the biggest, well, like if you could feel how heavy this is, it's excessive. I did it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.